everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my second installment to my Eid series. This video is a makeup dedicated to all of those Muslims around the world celebrating Eid. My last video, which was my first installment to the series, was a very dramatic smoky eye. And this time I've got a double winged liner look. It's not actually like a double wing where there's a wing on the top line, wing on the bottom line, but there's two colors to the wing, so it's a double color wing. It's got gold and black to it. And yeah, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Hope that you guys enjoy. And this tutorial is featuring Gamari turbans. So I will link them below on their Instagram and Facebook. Thank you everyone for tuning in and let's get to the tutorial. So I'm starting out with a clean face and I'm going to prime my skin first. And then just because it's a special occasion, I'm using a fairly full coverage foundation. This is a matte one. But if you prefer a creamier complexion, you can of course use whatever is your favorite foundation. Now using my favorite brow palette, I'm going to shade them in with powder and then set them with a brow gel. And now we're going to move straight onto the eyes and come back to concealer after we've done them. And I'm just going to prime my eyelids with a tinted eye primer. Now I'm going to take a very light, light sort of apricot shimmery shade, just one with subtle shimmer. I don't want it to be too shimmery at all. It's just one with a very light sparkle to it. Now I'm going to take one of these felt eyeliners and I'm going to draw a wing here, all right? So I usually start at the outer half and I hold the brush on its side so that the flat part is going to be pressing against my eye like this. It's much better than going at your eye in like a torpedo motion. So yeah, go flat against the face. It's much easier to draw a straight line that way. And then this is my not so secret trick anymore, but I've just got a bit of makeup remover and a brush and I can use that to clean up any messy areas or, you know, thin out the line a little bit. Um, it's really, really handy if you aren't confident with winged liner. Next thing I have is a really gorgeous gold eyeliner. I'm going to be using this to create like the gold on top of the black and you are going to end up going over a bit of the black. The black I put there as a guide so that when we have the gold there, we can then go over with a really glossy liner and um, neaten it all up. So just be aware that, yeah, it's going to get a bit messy here. Basically, I'm just going to take the pencil and just, you know, do a, a very small line or thin line just above the black. Next, I have a gorgeous loose dust. So this is a loose eyeshadow in a very true gold color. And then I've got a very small eyeliner brush, which I'm going to use to press this on top of the gold, just to make it intensely vibrant. This is going to help set it and make it much more vibrant. Whoa. Now, before I go back in with the liner, I'm gonna take a mid-tone brown eyeshadow and sweep that through the socket for a bit of extra dimension to the eye. Ideally, we would have done this earlier, but I don't think ahead. <laughs> Next in the steps for the eye makeup is to use a glossy liquid liner. And this is very difficult. I find liquid liner really, really difficult. I'm gonna be having every single muscle in my body clenched while I do this. So let's just go Zen mode and I'm just gonna make sure that a good amount of the gold is showing through. Okay, let's go. Now I'm going to apply some mascara, just any mascara because you're going to be applying false eyelashes. Next step is concealer and I'm going to take some of the peach tone for under my eye and some of the yellow for my blemishes. And then use a nice angle brush to blend that all in with padding motions. Then I've got some really spiky false eyelashes and so they're going to give a nice defined look and I'm going to place those on top 
Now these lashes are only $2.80 from madamemadeline.com and I'll put the link below to that. So if you're after lashes for Eid. Okay, so that's the eyes done. Now onto the rest of the face. I'm just going to add a bit of bronzer and I'm going to use a cream bronzer for this. Just on a stippling brush. And apply it over the entire area of the cheeks at an angle. Then on the cheeks I'm going to apply a really dusky rose shimmery blush. Then I'm going to take a really nice highlight powder and apply that above the cheekbones. So you get that shimmer as you tilt your head. And then on the top of your lip, smear a little bit over the cupid's bow. What you could do with your lips is absolutely anything because it is quite a neutral look. You've just got the gold and black. I'm just going to use a peachy tone. I'm going to line my lips with a coral lip liner. And then apply a beautiful coral lipstick in a cream finish. And ta-da! That's the finished Eid look. Um, it's something a little bit more modern and I hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to leave my video a thumbs up and also leave a comment. I'm so happy with how my Eid tutorials have been received. Um, one of my aims in my channel is to try and create more of a sense of community among women and I mean at the end of the day we're all just girls that love makeup so religion shouldn't be something that separates us from one another. Um, I just think that we should always be sticking together, no matter your race um, and you know religion, etc. So come back next Thursday for my next Eid look. It's going to be another neutral look, but this time with a double wing. So something that you could wear with absolutely any makeup. And I can't wait for you to see my outfit for that video. So come back next time. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Ciao.